What is going on YouTubers? Abdur Sound here. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Galaxy Note LTE by AT&T to official ICS. If you don't know, then let me tell you that AT&T has released official ICS. So let's go ahead and get to the process. What you need to do first is pop the battery out and under the battery you will see the white label right there where you find your IMEI you will find your serial number there go ahead and get that and make sure your device is unplugged then go ahead and press volume down and power button First vibrator, let go the power, second vibrator, and you will be here. So after the screen turns up, you will feel the first vibrator, let go the power button right at that time. Now you are here at the screen, and now let go the volume down and press volume up. Now you are into download mode. Here, go ahead and open up keys, and make sure you have at least 3 gigabytes of free space on your computer go ahead and go to tools and from our upgrade in installation here you can enter your social or <laughs> social your serial number that you found I am gonna go ahead and hide you from my serial number In the model, what you need to do is capital S Z H. Make sure you are doing all this in caps. I seven one seven. That's your model, aka LT Galaxy Note. Once you are done, press OK, and you will be right here. You can press OK again. OK, and it will start firmware update components downloading once that's done you will see that just press yes just wait a few sec you will see that just press I have read all start upgrade and you will be right here press that and say yes and it will start downloading your firmware as it says right here downloading file for em firmware emergency now this is gonna be slow process so I will be back once it starts installing the software so you will see me back in about couple of minutes uh, you might get this uh, emergency recovery thingy up it will be flashing too so after that download thing is d done this is what comes up and it flashes on your phone your phone is still in download mode and I, yes I still have that 13 counts really doesn't really matter right now really 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 does not matter right now it's 100% done that means rebooting my phone so please guys as do what I tell you to do right now because I just got you I see ice ice cream sandwich and that is it it is saying right here that restart the device do not disconnect I mean this it says restart the device disconnect and reconnect the cable so let this go ahead and disconnect first and then guys just follow along with process it's just gonna boot up sorry for this bogus language accent that I did I know I already have accent I don't know why I did it over again 
so once it's done you can just close our keys and you don't need a computer just let your phone rock on official ICS now one thing you might want to do is if you don't care about having all the apps gone then you might want to go ahead and go to factory recovery means uh, Samsung 3 recovery and uh, delete all your factory data and keep in mind guys this will take time to boot because you just loaded with loaded it with new firmware and this is official firmware this is not custom ROM that will boot up quickly this is official firmware so it will take time as you can see our cap lights are already on so that means it will for sure boot up it just takes time and you will have official ICS once it's done doing its process And yes, I'm sorry to, because you're gonna have to deal with all the bloatware from at and If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna have my ROM coming out. So I don't have SIM card because it's in my Galaxy S3, which is what I'm using to shoot this video because I'm so poor, can't afford a freaking camera. Ha! But I still will. I still and will educate you guys on Android because I educated myself somehow. So if you want to do that, just go ahead and I'm not going to do that. So press cancel next. And OK. And you're done here. You are finally got your official ICS running on your Galaxy Note by AT&T keep in mind you are not gonna get the UX touch with UX because that was for SGS3 only and you, as you can see you see LF6 the last leak we got it was UCLF5 and we jumped directly to UCLF6 we might we, we will be getting source for ICS that means new kernels and stuff and this is how you upgrade from any firmware to ICS and this is your favorite youtubers after 7 go ahead and subscribe right there hit like button check out my blog and I will see you in the next video thank you